Welcome to an overview video on Create 2022.1 and the new features that we're releasing in this version. First, let's do a reminder of what is Create. Create is an application built upon the Omniverse platform and includes many new features for world building, animation, and rendering of USD content. Let's start with a basic refresher on the interface. In the middle of the screen, we have a render window. We now have four different options for different renderers, from a real-time renderer, an interactive path tracer, an accurate render with iRay, and we've now included a render de delegate for Pixar Storm. We will talk more about the Hydra Render Delegate support that we've added in 2022.1 in the rendering section of this video. We have our stage tree to inspect our USD content, our layers, so we can inspect our USD layers, our various render settings, our content browser for getting to Nucleus, and of course, under Window, our extensions, which show all of our various extensions that may be not enabled by default that you might want to use. So let's talk about the new stuff. First, let's go to our top level UX. We've added a layout option so that you can easily be put into different modes for how you want to work at the time. We have an animation option, an option for painting terrain, rendering, visual scripting, and we also have the ability now to save and load layouts of your choosing. Down here, you'll notice there's no longer a sky browser, but an environment browser. This still lets you pick various HDRIs, but now we've added the option with the matte rendering feature to add shadows directly under your object in an HDRI. So you can instantly have a very beautiful renderer, which is simply an HDR dome light. You can also put a flat ground plane down and put whatever material you would like on it, and this will scale the UVs appropriately based on the ground size that you're selecting. We've also added templates, which are ready to go rendering stages so that you can maybe get a better look at what you want quickly. Let's go ahead and double click on one of those. And you see, now I've put this beautiful car in a nice abandoned stage. You'll also see an asset store. The asset store is new to 2022.1. First, it gives you a way to browse some of the content that's been included from NVIDIA directly for drag and drop into your stages. So now we have a nice couch to sit and look at our car. But that's not all. We've also included direct links to various partners that you can see under the filter tab here. And as we scroll and look under our very specific headers here, we will start to see new assets from people such as Sketchfab, Reillusion's Actor Core, and Turbo Squid. Those are the main top level features that have been added to our UX. Next, let's go through our other larger new features from our new visual scripting languages, our brand new animation tools, render features, and some additional features which we think you'll find very interesting. We've given animation abilities a big boost in 2022.1. We've added the general way to keyframe all USD attributes through two extensions, the timeline or the curve editor. In this example, you'll see through the curve editor, we've been able to animate a traditional bouncing ball. These keys can be set from the property panel with the right click set key and can be adjusted at either the curve editor or the timeline. Further, Sequencer has gotten a pretty big boost and everything that you make in the timeline or curve editor can be sequenced. As you can see here, we have a simple cube that rotates, but now we've added the ability to easily loop, trim, and also to scale both how fast or how slow your animation plays. Animation Graph gives you the ability to bring your characters to life with our new node-based graph editor for runtime animation, blending, and playback. We have included a variety of samples to kind of show you what Animation Graph is capable of. In this example, we have a character who walks between predetermined points. We can actually move those points 
and our character will attempt to get towards them. We also have the ability to retarget animations with our new animation retargeter. This allows you to very quickly take animations from various different skeletons and remap them to your character. Action Graph, based on OmniGraph, is something we're really excited to get into our customers' hands and have you play with with 2022.1. With Action Graph, through a node-based interface, we can quickly map keyboard shortcuts or make our own UI buttons to drive complex events. We can drive characters, make custom configurators, vehicles, and more using this event-driven based system. As you can see my example below, I've used an Action Graph to make a special camera that'll follow a curve path. As you can see on the left-hand side, this is all node-based and runs in real time inside of Create. Really excited to see what you can do as we add more nodes and more capabilities through 2022.1. Let's talk about the rendering improvements and new features in 2022.1. The first to talk about is we now allow developers the ability to add Hydra-based renderers to kit-based applications such as Create. And in this version of Create, we've added by default Pixar's Storm Renderer. As you can see up here, we now have the easy ability to switch between our real-time, interactive, iRay accurate render, and Pixar Storm. Be on the lookout for more Hydra-based render delegates showing up in later times that you can add to create and have a lot of fun with. We've added the ability to make any object in your world a matte object. This is effectively a shadow catcher in an HDRI environment. Not only can they now uh, catch shadows, from your HDRI, but you can also adjust the material properties for reflections or lack thereof. You can now render out AOVs for your project and take all those various render targets and put them into a compositor of your choice. This gives you the flexibility to make your image as beautiful as you want. We now have the ability to render USD curves and create. As you can see here in this highly detailed hair example, we can render this all in real time inside the create window. In addition, we can also create and generate basis curves inside of create, which can be used with things like animation graph and OmniGraph. We've now added the ability for Primvar support. A basic example of this is now you're able to do vertex painting and apply that in your material graph to do things like various terrain painting and blending. We've improved RTX subsurface scattering renderer in real time mode, as you can see here with this dragon. With this release, we've also added the ability to load Adobe Substance 3D materials directly. Simply find that SPSAR file, drag it into your stage, open the scope, find the material, drag it onto your asset, and it'll now be on there. As you look down here, you have all the different options for changing the procedural colors, all as you would expect with any Adobe Substance 3D material. We've also included Warp, which you can learn more about in the documentation, but is a really cool feature which allows for the writing of high performance simulation and graphics code from Python. Here's some cool videos from the Warp team. And that completes the new features for Create 2022.1. We hope you enjoyed this video and we can't wait to join you on your journey through Omniverse. Check back for more updates and new features in future videos.